I'm melting, melting. <laughs> this 60 is the new 40. Absolutely. 40, 40 is the new 20. And uh, George Burns said, you can't help getting older, but you don't have to get old. I like that one. I love that. I'm Rich G. And I'm BJ Flagg, and this is episode 207, Getting Older and Staying Relevant. Yeah. And we got some facts for you. Yeah, absolutely. Over half of business owners are age 55 and older. That's pretty amazing, don't you think? Yeah. And, and uh, you know, entrepreneurs in the construction industry, so picture that, construction industry are the youngest with 48.3 on average. That's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. And then financial insurance and real estate professionals are the oldest at 54 years. Wow. So, Today, we're going to talk about getting older and staying relevant. And I think you're going to love these tips because it applies to so many age groups and awesome to review. So tip one is you have significant perspective and experience. Okay, you're not up on all those newfangled tech tools like Clubhouse or TikTok, but you (laughs) do have the ability to understand what you need and the ability to procure people to help you better understand what's happening out there. Right. And it is, it's up to you to like, keep relevant, you know, just to that feeling of um, perspective. Every time you go and learn or, or view something, you have such a unique perspective. And it's just such a great time to stay uh, current with your passions. Yeah, things things don't get old. Things ideas don't get old. Strategies don't get old. They just have a new angle to them. So I constantly see this, and BJ, you see it too. Uh, probably in marketing, I see it in business where, well, this new idea. I go, well, that's just this that we've been doing that for years. They just gave it a new name. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. it's so funny. Well, the story of my dad is 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 a great one. He retired at 65 from working at Electrolux, the vacuum cleaner company. And he worked there for, you know, 40 years. And he was retired for a total of like two days. Oh my because gosh. After two days, his old boss called him up and says, Look, we can't find anybody that could do your job as well as you could. How would you like to come back and do half days? And he was like, sure. I'm driving my wife crazy anyway. So right. he went back to work. He did it for 10 more years. Oh, my and, gosh. And he did just half days from like seven till noon. So that's the thing. It's like you have perspective and a lot of experience to bring. You, you think it's antiquated or obsolete, and it really isn't. No, no. It's all your attitude. Um, tip number two, don't question yourself. You know, you, you are asked the same questions as a 20, you know, you're asking yourself the same questions as a 20 year old person does. Am I worthy? Can I learn that? Will I fit in? You know, don't, don't listen to that internal negative talk. It's just, you are worthy. You can learn it and you can fit in. Um, but Am I right, Rich? I mean, absolutely. I work with clients. I work with clients that are in their 20s all the way to, I have a client that's in his 70s. And it's funny because I sit back and I I listen and they sound the same. They ask themselves the same questions. (laughs) And, and, And here's the catch. You need to do the hard work. You need to put in the hours and you need to make the effort to get along with people who are not the same age as you both older and younger. Oh my gosh. You know, your boss may be younger. Hey, go with it. Go with it. It's fine. I got a great call a couple of months ago from um, a girl who worked with me probably like in her 20s, uh, right out of school, stayed with us for about seven years. She was an amazingly talented person. And she said she had the weirdest experience that she was... um, always asked to, you know, to handle the inter- the uh, interns as the summer interns. And she very gladly said, yes, I'll definitely do it again this year. And she noticed there was a couple of them that were like, hey, how did you do it when you were our age? How, and really made her feel uncomfortable. And yeah. she realized, oh my gosh, they think I'm old. 
And it was the first time that she really realized she wasn't making that connection with them. And she worked the rest of the summer to build and foster the connection and make sure they understood, hey, we don't do that here. And it was amazing to hear her talk about it, um, how it made her feel. And she asked if she had done it to me. (laughs) Yeah, it's usually the people that get their first uh, sir or madam you know, ma- ma'am or something like that. Yes. In, yes. In, in, in retail, you're like, don't sir me. You know, exactly. I'm not just sir. And I know. Like, you get old. Well, tip, tip three is you're not getting old. You're acting old. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and I run into this and BJ, you probably do with clients all the time. It's like, they're not showing their passion. They're not right showing their enthusiasm for what they do. They're they're not showing their energy. You have to show your excitement for what you do in anything that you do. And if you're not, if you're just walking along like, oh, people are going to think that you're old. Throw out the cardigan. That's all I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, bring your A game to everything you do. Show that same type of incredible enthusiasm and passion that you had. When, when you were younger, yeah. you know, when you started the business, when you, you know, decided on this great idea, that will make you feel younger. And then the people around you will treat you that way. So yeah. it's a fantastic feeling all around. Yeah, your clients will notice and be attracted to your positivity about oh. what you do and how you interact with them and how you interact with your people. And if you, you're, you're not coming in saying good morning to everybody with a a joint in your step and get excited about the day, you need to sit down and figure out why that's happening. Exactly. And tip number four is don't pull the age card on a younger person. Yeah. And you know, you know how much you hate it. Don't do the same action to a younger person who you perhaps mentor. Um, You know, you could be a model to the way you want them to act. This is a fantastic opportunity to kind of show them what the com- corporate culture is all about. Yeah. You know, and, you know, you treat them with the same respect and that they, that you want to receive, you're going to have a very strong fellow employee. Absolutely. And this is a muscle you need to exercise. So what's a great place to practice this? At your yeah. coffee shop, well, at, at the grocery store. Treat all the employees the same with respect, and they're going to remember you. You're, it is amazing how different. Um, we have a fantastic grocery store, Walter Stewart's Market, um, and they, every one of those employees, we treat them with respect. You know, you just say, "Hey, when are you going back to school?" Well, that's totally good. I don't say the next sentence, which is, "Well, yeah. when I was your age." No, 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 no. Yes. We just say, wow, astrophysicist, that's so fantastic. I, I'm sure you're totally up for this. This is great. If you yeah. treat them that way, the next year they're going to be like, hi, Mrs. Flag. No, that's okay. They can call me Mrs. Flag. <laughs> yeah, the best thing you could ever do is be curious, you know, and, and, and ask, say things like, really, tell me more about that. Show enthusiasm for them and what they do. And they're going to remember how you made them feel. And, you know, I, my uh, father-in-law was that guy. Everybody wanted to stand next to him because he was the questioner. He was the guy who would say, oh, and he'd only remember a tidbit about you. He would be so enthusiastic about just the one little tidbit that he remembered. And then he listened and he let the people go on and on about it. People felt so great about them. And that's, you know, that's really where your head's got to be. Absolutely. Well, our resource this week is a book that I I recommend to a lot of my clients. It's called Younger Next Year, Live Strong, Fit, Sexy, and Smart Until You're 80 and Beyond. It's an incredible book by Chris Crowley and Henry Lodge. Uh, Henry Lodge provides the science and Chris Crowley provides the motivation. You're going to discover how to put off 70% of the normal problems of aging, weakness, sore joints, bad balance, and eliminate 50% of the serious illnesses and injury. It's 
a great book to read. Absolutely. It talks all about exercise, diet, staying emotionally connected directly affects your brain all the way down to the cellular cellular level. I have a hard time with that word. <laughs> I know but it. it. It's so true. It's like people that uh, do crossword puzzles and you know things that are keeping your mind going, reading and imagining, you're much more uh, attuned and you act brain-wise a lot younger. Yeah. The message is simple. Learn to train for the next third of your life and you will have a ball. Absolutely. So it's a great book. And that's it. Um, I'd like to introduce you to our sponsor today, Rich G. Do you feel like you might be getting too old to run your business? New technologies, techniques, and tools scaring you? Looking for someone to help you gui- help guide you and work with you to grow your business? I have the prescription for you. Talk to Rich G. One free session will show you that Rich is the real deal. He helps hundreds of companies grow and excel faster than they ever would. Go to richg.com, R-I-C-H-G-E-E.com to reserve a complimentary session with Rich today. And our other sponsor is BJ Flagg. If you need someone to look at your brand and give it a refresh, I have someone in my community I want you to talk to, BJ Flagg from New Renew Brand Marketing. They have the outside the bubble perspective to understand what you want and what your customers are looking for. They are full service from strategy to implementation. They're the group for you. That's N-U-R-E-N-U dot com. Thank you to our producer and king of creative, Richard Scalzo, bringing you the best small business podcast every Tuesday. Have an unbelievable week. Catch you later. <laughs>